welcome to the little tour of my completed kitchen that I have made for my minivan. I'm going to show you everything that it does. It's really cool. So here we go. So as you can see, I've got my little tea kettle up here and my stove. And my sink is right over here and my faucet right there. Okay. I did the offset for it because I wanted room on here to be able to do this. Also, I wanted room on here if I'm washing dishes to be able to put a little drying pad right here and just wash my dishes if I'm not using vinegar water for whatever reason and put them right here to dry. So let me show you the sink. Yay, running water! Now, my sink, my sink is not plumbed. I'm not going to plumb it because, or put any plumbing in it, because I just dump it. <laughs> I just go bink and out the window or out the door or wherever, I'll just dump it. I want this as simple as it can be. And just, yeah, so that is, and it's a really nice, deep, deep bowl. It's eight or nine inches deep. So it's deeper than my sink in the kitchen that I have here. So that is the sink area. So if I wanted to take the sink out and have a whole surface for prep, I can fit a cutting board over the top of the sink and then I can prep. If I wanna put a sewing machine on here and sew, I could put a sewing machine on here. This has got a lot of different uses for it. Also, the stove can sit this way like that. Even with the sink there, the stove can sit facing this way. So it can either face this way or this way. Now let's look at what's going on underneath the curtain here. I'm just going to flip this curtain over. So as you can see, I have a jug right here with a hole drilled in the cap so that when the water goes the tubing goes down in there, there's a nice little seal around the tubing so the water won't spill. I will be putting sticky pads underneath this bottle and I will be putting sticky pads underneath my utensil holder as well. And I will also be putting a sticky pad under, this is my camping pots and pans. I generally don't even eat out of anything else but this. If I cook something in here, I eat out of it. So I don't even know if I need to take plates with me. Now I could also hang this if I wanted to. So if I wanted to put like another cup hook in here and hang it, I could. Or if I wanted to hang it out on the side like that, I can do that too. I've got lots of options for that. That is what's going on underneath. I have hung a bungee from cup hook to cup hook back here so I can hang my vinegar water from it. And I've got Dr. Bronner's and that too if I wanted to hang that up there, but I'm just using that as a demo so that I can show you that I can hang my dishwashing stuff from here. The cup hooks that hold this bungee will also be the cup hooks that hold this entire unit to the passenger seat when I'm traveling. This bungee will be removed and replaced with a much longer bungee that will go around the passenger seat and hook and hook to either side. So on this side, you can see this is the cup hook where the bungee is, and I made sure they're exactly even on both sides. Then I've got another cup hook here holding this and another cup hook here holding this. This is looking at it from the back. Okay, so there's the tube going in, the bungee hanging, my pans and my utensil holder from the back side. Once I put the water on here, the stove on here, this thing got heavy. <laughs> I also like the fact that I don't have to worry about a gray water bottle either because that would be taking up this space right here. That's another reason why I didn't plumb this sink. This sink is basically going to be used for me to brush my teeth, get water for Peanut for his for his drinking bowl. Basically, that's the only time I ever used water and to fill up my, our water bottles for drinking. I don't use a lot of water out there. I have two very large, actually have four, <laughs> but I'm not gonna put all four of them in my van. I have two six gallon plastic 
jugs that I keep purified water in. So that's a total of 12 gallons that will be on board. If I need to go get more for this jug, I just take the faucet out of here, put it into the big jug, pour it into there and we're good to go. So as you can see on this side, here's the cup hook holding the bungee in the back. Here's another cup hook to hold this towel. And I could put even more cup hooks down here. I am going to add one because I've got a utensil, a whole cooking utensil package coming from Amazon that I'm ordering this week. And I'm gonna be hanging that on the outside or I may hang it on the inside. I'm not sure yet. That may actually even replace this as my utensil holder. It probably will replace this. I, I won't need this, but it's good for visual to show you that that is where I could put it if I wanted to. So that is my little kitchen setup. Leave me a comment below what you think of it. I will be putting how to make this into the description box below if you are interested in following along. Plus I have the video that I'm doing that goes along with this. This is a two part video. The first part was the construction. This second part is getting it sanded, stained, and putting it all together so I can show you how cute this kitchen really, truly is. So I hope you enjoyed this. Leave a comment below. And again, hit that subscription button if you are new to this channel, which there's a lot of viewers that I get that do not have subscriptions. It's free of charge, just go ahead. Bam, hit that button and don't forget to ding the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. I will see you in the next one.